Welcome back everybody for another episode of Seeking Discovery. It's an exciting day here out at the bus because we are working on the roof mounts for our solar system. As you can see, I've got one of the panels out here. I just picked up four 350 watt panels, which will give me a total combined 1400 watts of solar on the roof. So to make this mount, what I'm gonna be using is the old track that came out of the floor of the bus and we're gonna to try to put that together to create some kind of a structure to support them up on top of the bus. So I've got my friend out here today. She's gonna to be helping us figure out how to do this because we're just gonna make it up as we go. Um, so yeah, let's dive in and get started. We're almost an hour in to this framing and we've got almost nothing done. And you may ask why? Well, that's because I thought it would be a great idea to just make the holes larger in stainless steel L brackets. Yeah, that's not really feasible. So we ran to our local Ace, picked up some new hardware, and then I realized I didn't have the right size uh, drill bit. <laughs> Words don't work. So then I realized I don't have the right size drill bit and we tried to force one of the screws into the aluminum and sheared the head off of it. So from now on, we are going to mark the holes where we need them for the bracket, pull it out, drill a slightly larger hole with the size bit that I have so that the screws will drop in just fine, the machine screws, and then we're gonna keep working to get this all bolted together. But learn from our mistakes, plan your hardware ahead of time, and if you plan to get stainless steel stuff, do not attempt to drill it out because it is not easy. We have our first rack finished for the solar system. You can see it back here. Um, it wasn't difficult, it just took longer than expected, like everything with the build. So we're gonna get this hoisted up onto the top of the bus to see how it kind of fits, so we can figure out how to permanently attach it, and then we'll start working on the second one for the other two panels that will also go on the roof. Hopefully that one will go easier. <laughs> <laughs> I totally planned that to kind of do that and sit on top of the ladder. Well, as you guys have seen today, we have gotten a lot of work done and we're just wrapping up the last of today's project, getting the framing system for the solar panel mounted to the roof of the bus. So what we did over here, you can see that there's some hinges. These were to span our larger gap. And then on the sides, we're using some of our angle brackets again. Um, so every area that's mounted will have eight anchor points tied directly into the roof of the bus and these hinges are tied into the ribs of the bus so that's creating a really uh, rigid solid surface and we shouldn't have any issues with the rack and then eventually we'll get the solar panels on here and bolt those down as well um, so what we're doing over here for each of these side brackets is we're just cleaning the area with some mineral spirits because the roof is dirty and as you can see, I did put one bolt in here. I picked a spot where it would sit kind of flush on the roof, put the bolt in, and now we're gonna drill two holes through, put some more bolts in with some bigger washers on the bottom, and that's how we're going to attach this to the roof line. So, we're just gonna pre-drill. the other one. So it drifted a little bit, but it should still work fine. We're going to brush that metal dust off because that will start to rust and we don't want that up here. Um, so I can see, it looks like I should be able to line up my holes and then we'll tighten this down. So the next step, now that we've got it wiped clean, we're gonna take some butyl tape and we're going to put that in between the L bracket and the roof of the bus to help with waterproofing. And you guys have seen me use butyl tape in a variety of other aspects of the bus. Pretty much anytime we wanna waterproof something, I'm putting butyl tape in. You can see around the structure for the deck, we've got it there around all the windows. Um, so this stuff is definitely your best friend when you're building a bus. And if you're looking for some, I'll put a link in the description for what I used. I got it on Amazon. It's pretty inexpensive, but it is very sticky. Feels kind of like chewed gum. Um, 
And now we're just gonna kind of stick that down there and try to find the holes that I just drilled now that they're covered. Um, I think that's one. So I specifically, or I guess I should say, I purposefully drilled these holes small so that the seal is nice and tight. So as you can see, I do have to actually screw it in because it is grabbing the metal. And then on the inside, we'll put that washer and nut to really secure it down good. Well, it has been a long day here at the bus. You guys probably can't tell, but the sun has set. It's starting to get dark, which means it's time to clean up. We got a lot of work done here today and I definitely could not have done it alone. So big shout out to Miranda for coming out and helping get these racks on. Um, so now that we've got the anchor points on here, I mean, this is solid. I'm super excited to get the roof painted so that we can get these panels up here, get them all wired. And we are one step closer to turning the school bus into a tiny house, having off-grid power, um, and moving on to the rest of the interior build. This afternoon, we are gonna be working on prepping and painting the roof of the bus. So what Miranda and I have been doing is scraping off the black strip that was on the bus. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to start cleaning the roof. So to do that, I'm using TSP, um, which is what the uh, container of paint said to use, and I've seen a lot of other people use this. So I'll dissolve this into a bucket of water and go up with a big brush and scrub the roof, let that dry, and then we'll come back, put one coat of paint on, let that dry, and then hopefully get a second coat on before the day's over. A lot of people, when I was doing research, use Henry's Tropicool on their roof, which is a 100% silicone-based paint. I originally was leaning towards that option, but decided to go with the Henry's Durabrite instead, which is a 100% acrylic-based paint. So the main reason I chose to go with that over the Tropicool is some people were disappointed with how dirty Tropicool gets, and you really can't do anything with it once it's on because it is 100% silicone. So this will give me the option. I can start with acrylic, and if I decide in the future I do want to add Tropicool, I can, but there's really no way to remove it if you go with it to start. So I have a five gallon pail of the Durabrite by Henry, and I'll be using two coats of that on the roof of my bus. It works as a reflectant of the sunlight to help keep it cooler, as well as it helps with any standing or pooling water for 48 hours. So that's what I opted to go with, and we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning the roof now. Okay, so it's been, I don't know, maybe about an hour, hour and a half since we washed the top of the bus. So it's a bright, sunny, hot day here in Florida. It is nice and dry up there. So now it's time to go in and actually put the first coat of paint down. So you can see I've got my five gallon bucket back here. Again, I'm using Henry's Durabrite, um, which is still part of the same line that Tropicool is, but it's the acrylic version as opposed to the silicone version. So, I've got my 3 8 inch nap roller on a handle, and I'll be using this to actually roll the ceiling. I do have a small one if there's some spots that need to be touched up, or if it's easier for Miranda on the ladder to maybe get the sides, um, I've got that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this paint mixed up. I got the big mixer attachment for the drill, and then we're gonna pour some into a bucket and try to get it on the roof without spilling any. Let's make a mess or not. Now it's thinner than I was expecting. I mean, there, there's not nearly as satisfying uh, as mixing colored paint. Oh yeah, like when you start paint. Say that now. Ooh. 
probably too soon. Yeah, the sun's so. not down yet. Close. <laughs> Well guys, that wraps up today's video. As you can see behind us, we've got this beautiful line <laughs> from the white paint. So we were able to get two coats of paint down on the top. And again, I was using the Henry's Dura Bright 100% acrylic. So if you're interested in using the same thing, I'll put a link in the description below where you guys can get it. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. But if you guys like this kind of video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to follow the school bus conversion into a new tiny house. So until next time, we'll see you guys later.